We want to do a calculus problem now that falls under the category of related rates. Let's take a look at the problem. A balloon is being filled with air so that the radius is increasing at the rate. Okay, I'm going to fill that in a little bit. How fast is the volume changing when the radius is 2.5 inches? So here's our basic relationship between volume and radius. Now, if this was an algebra class, we might ask you to find the volume for a given value of the radius, for instance, when the radius was 2.5 inches, or we might give you, uh, ask you for the radius for a given value of the volume. But in calculus, we're interested in a problem like this in the rates of change of the volume as it's related to the rate of change of the radius. How do those rates of change, how are they related? In order to find that relationship, what we do is we take this formula right here and we differentiate implicitly with respect to t for time. So let's do that. I'm just going to differentiate left to right and I'm going to differentiate with respect to t. So the derivative of v with respect to t is just simply dv dt. So that stands for the rate of change of volume with respect to time. Okay, I'll differentiate again. Here I have a couple of constants, so I'll just write those down, 4 thirds pi. Now I want to differentiate this r to the third, so I'll take the exponent out in front, 3, times the base raised to a power 1 less, and now I have to differentiate the base, because remember I'm differentiating with respect to t. So I'm going to multiply this times dr dt. So that right there stands for the rate of change of radius with respect to time. Now I guess I could simplify a little bit here. Let's divide out those threes. I'll simplify this down to 4 pi r squared times dr dt. Now is that still on the screen? Yep, okay. So here's the relationship between the rates of change of volume and the rate of change of the radius. Here's the relationship between volume and radius. Here's the relationship between their rates of change. Now I want to show you a little balloon I have that has a radius, a spherical balloon, has a radius of about two inches. Let me show you. Okay, here it is. Uh, let's just assume that it's a sphere. It's not quite a sphere, but we're going to make some assumptions right here. Its radius is about two inches. Now what I want to do is um, blow into this, try to blow it up so that the radius increases, and I'm going to try to blow into it for about two seconds. Let's see what happens. Okay, I got a balloon that looks like this. Let me measure it. Okay, this balloon has a radius of about three inches. So let's just make some assumptions here. Let me put the balloon down. We'll just make some assumptions. We'll assume that I blew into it at a constant rate and the radius increased by, by one inch for, and I blew into it for two seconds. So the rate of change of the radius is one inch every two seconds. So I could say if I want 0.5 inches per second, it really won't make any difference. So now I have the rate of change of the radius. So let's see if we can answer our question. How fast is the volume changing when the radius is 2.5 inches if the radius is changing at the rate of one inch every two seconds? Okay, I'll just substitute in for dv dt. And what do I have here? Four pi times the radius squared, okay, that's going to be 2.5 inches, because that's where I'm interested in this, squared times the rate of change of the radius, which is one inch every two seconds. So, or 0.5 inches per second, whichever one you'd like to do. Now, let's see, I did this calculation, and it comes out to be 39.2 what do I have for units? Inches squared times inches, so inches cubed over seconds. So 39.25 cubic inches per second, that's my rate of change of the volume when the radius is 2.5 inches if the radius is increasing at the rate of one inch per second. So that's a quick look at a problem that we call related, a related rate problem from calculus.